What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode this afternoon, evening. Not really sure. We're an hour behind. We're over here on Lake Gunnersville, Alabama. Getting the boat ready. I'm gonna put it in the water. Got does behind the camera. Me and does right here. Wanna fish today and tomorrow. See what we can do. New body of water. New lake for us entirely. We're gonna get out here, fish, see what's going on. As y'all can see from the shot of the lake, nice ripple on the water. Ran through a patch of rain on the way here. Couldn't ask for better weather, in our opinion. Um, but we're gonna get out here and we're gonna get the boat in the water. Been looking forward to this trip and we'll see y'all on the first cast. fishing right beside the dock very windy like they say if you don't know where to go don't get anywhere at all we got a couple spots marked out but we figured we were this close and stunning and this stuff looks juicy so we just decided to hit it so maybe we'll catch something nope all right y'all so i had a bite missed them been having them get the tail end of my drop shot yank it right out of their mouth i have yet to put first fish in the boat this water's pretty choppy Wind's going pretty good, but that's only, it's all good, good things, so. There we go. No more skunk. <sighs> Let's go. You had to catch him a spotted bass. We're done. Cut that on the. Little John, they're schooling out here. Just had to find the right crankbait for them to come up and smack. I hope they catch a few more. Yay. I catch him in the net for you, anyways. Yeah, that's a, that's a decent one. Decent largey. Yep, two pounder. Close two pound large mouth. Nice color on him. I threw a drop shot down there. Got one on a crankbait earlier. We'll take this. Keep throwing what we got on the boat. Hopefully we can drill into them more. Rain's letting up. So hopefully as the afternoon goes, we'll crack some more. But that's a decent fish in the boat so far. But we'll keep at it. Three. Number three, I think for me. Uh, caught him on the Deeper diving crankbait, no footage for it, but we're gonna keep on. Dozers tie another drop shot on, and uh, hopefully we'll catch more as the evening goes on. Big. Like I say, came up and got it. Oh, Logie. Yeah. I just had a fish and it got hung up. Yeah, I got a fish, dude. It's jerking. It's hung up in something. Look at my rod. All right, you guys, so not a whole lot of action. Y'all seen the little fish, the fish that we've caught so far. Does are you caught a fish? Nope. Those are not caught a fish. We're gonna head up to one more ledge, see if we can't pull nothing in the next 30, 40 minutes, and then head on to the ramp and uh, get to the Airbnb, get unloaded, find something to eat and drink. Cause we are, been out here since two o'clock. It's been six or so hours. And we're gonna get back, keep fishing. If not, we'll meet you at the ramp and we'll go from there. All right, well, we figured we'd do a quick update. We just got back to our Airbnb we rented. We figured we'd show y'all what we caught them on today. Uh, it was really slow for us. I mean, first time out on the lake, we didn't really know what to do. We didn't know if we should stay shallow, if we should 
ledge fish, and we mostly did a lot of ledge fish, and ended up catching some some fish. Colby caught four, I caught nothing. <laughs> it was a it was a good learning day. Uh, we're gonna buckle down and do some more homework tonight, as those were saying what we were throwing. Drop shot. Uh, this is a worm we got at one of our local tackle shops. It's a, just a green pumpkin with uh, some purple flake. That one large mouth and I caught pushing two pounds, maybe a little bit over, but yep, just a drop shot on a, a little weight. A little bit of a bigger worm than we normally run on a drop shot, but we've seen that work. And then what else Colby caught one on? He caught one on this Spro crankbait right here. I know this is a ducket crankbait, my bad. He's got another Spro one out there that he caught one on too, but uh, he caught, I think he caught two, you caught two on this one, didn't you? I think so. And then one on that other one, which is just a deeper diver, but this one I think dove seven to eight feet, and the other one's supposed to dive like 12 foot or so. We mostly just found ledges and stuff that are on like creek channels down the lake, and it was pretty slow, but we ended up catching some. Uh, I had one hooked on, at least I think I did, on a jig, and ended up wrapping itself around a tree and got broke off, so that sucked. And we were seeing fish on the graph. But it was just a matter of getting in the butt. I'm sure tomorrow in the morning it might be a different story. Just in the morning with uh, cooler temps and um, that morning bite might be a little bit different. Hopefully we can catch some tomorrow and uh, just got bad guys settled down. So we're going to head out and get something to eat. We haven't ate since 2 today. Mm -hmm. So it's been a while. Starved and dehydrated. So we're going to go eat and we will catch you guys in the morning. So we're getting to it this morning. Just got out here a little bit later than we wanted to. It's about six o'clock. Ledge off to our left, fish jumping out there. We're gonna see what we can do this morning, put together for y'all. Yesterday was a little rough. We're gonna get to it, get our biscuits, get out here on the water, catch some fish. So let's get after it. All right, one thing me and Dozer have learned on this lake, we hate grass. Well, something bit my bait off, the end of it. This is a very different uh, learning experience for us. Lake Gunnersville is absolutely slam packed with eel grass, and there is zero of that at home. We're also trying to ledge fish, offshore ledge fish. That doesn't really take place at home often. The eel grass though, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Back there where we last were, every cast you came back with 10 pounds of grass, so. <laughs> Get it over there. <laughs> um, they're bass. Was that a bass. That's a bass. I just saw him come up. is the only one on the bull for today. All right, y'all. My first fish of the trip. Only fish of the day. A little largemouth. Maybe almost two pounds, pound and a half, probably not quite two, but nice little fish. We're gonna let him go. Hmm, no cameras are going, but that's fine. We're on the fluke. Nice. Oh, look at that, huh? You have to get a pot like that. my third fish of the day spotted bass catching them shallow because ledge fishing didn't really work out for us we might go try again here in a little bit but little spotted bass we've caught 
Caught a couple shallow now. Nothing big. It's kind of the expectation you run when you go shallow, you're gonna catch small fish, but we might run into something big, hopefully. It's my goal anyways. You got one already? <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Large mouth. All right, y'all. Update on uh, while I caught this fish. Fish the back of pockets and cuts. Uh, but we came out here to the ledges, see what they'll do out here midday. And first cast hooked on with the drop shot again. So toss them back when we keep fishing this ledge. Hopefully they keep biting like this and uh, day gets better. So toss them back. I just want to show everybody and say that this is not at all type of fishing we're used to used to bank fishing highland reservoirs because there is no ledges but i'm gonna do a 360 there is no bank near us that's the closest one and it's way over there so our first time really ledge fishing i mean we've done it on chickamauga before but we stopped at this ledge seen on the map first cast Colby with a drop shot he caught that so hopefully we can catch some more want to catch some big ones but if we start catching a bunch like that, it'll be all right too, but. Not a crazy big one, but decent. Decent large. Keep at it. Yep. Yep. Big or no? Just get him in the boat. They all followed it. Gonna be a decent largemouth out here. Ledge fishing, wacky wig. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. It pulls out of my hand. <laughs> Hope my pole Dude, it's going. It's rod Keep them on like there. Crap. Keep them on there. Keep them low. That rod feels like massive fish. That rod makes it feel like a massive fish. It's a good one, but it ain't massive. Oh yeah, good fish. Nice. We found Margie. Nice. I'll let you get him. This is a lot more fun than I than it has been. <laughs> Finally catching fish. A decent largemouth. Almost three pounds, I'd say. And we would get some pwned footage, but we're on a school and we're gonna catch as many as we can. They've, they've been blowing up, they've been, we've been catching them deep, catching them top water. I just caught that on a fluke. Colby's been catching them on drop shots. Uh, so, keep catching them. Let's go. Top of the mouth. That's what we came here for. Finally working out for us. Woo! Alright y'all, well, we just put in. We've been out since about 6 o'clock this morning. It's two o'clock now, so we've been out here for a good while. Got to head back home now. It was a really slow morning. We did end up catching some in the in the morning before we really cracked onto them on the ledge. But uh, before we before we went to the ledge, we pretty much caught a couple fish on just wacky rig and a, just shallow fishing. That was just small, mostly small largemouth. We tried to really hit everything that we could today, especially on the lake that we don't know. Once we got out on that ledge, that first cast had that one. Just start laying into them. Especially with the fluke too, which is pretty, pretty cool. I mean, we, we kind of knew what we were shooting for, especially summertime hot weather, slowing it down. Drop shot again, as y'all saw yesterday. Probably did catch two on the crankbaits yesterday. Yeah, crankbait. That was that was a nice bite too. Don't really get that at the house. But. We tried it a little bit today and never, never hooked into anything. So, I mean, we did catch fish, especially during the latter part of the day. Got really consistent for a minute. We found a school on that ledge, which we ledged fish yesterday. Took all night. Didn't really catch anything. Caught a couple on a ledge, but then we finally found a school and was really able to catch on to them. Now we see what ledge fishing is all about. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. 
glad we could finally get something out for y'all. Just these hot summer days is, we've been over and over and over fish tournaments too and just nothing to show for. This has been Tightline Grind. Y'all stay cast and stay grinding. Catch you in the next episode.